And we're back with the June Ought 9 exam. Up to page 5. Question 29. The diagram below shows two pulses approaching each other in a uniform medium. 5 centimeters and 10 centimeters. Which diagram best represents the superpositioning? Well, when waves get together, they add their amplitudes. So positive 5, positive 10 is going to give us a positive 15. And this one's positive 15. Uh, if they were to subtract, if this was a negative 5, then we would have had negative 5 and positive 10, so we could have had that, but the other two don't happen. Question 30. Sound waves strike a glass and cause it to shatter. <clears throat> this phenomena illustrates uh, that's a resonance. If something I can do makes something else vibrate, that's known as resonance. Refraction is bending of waves. Reflection is echo. Diffraction is uh, spreading of waves around a barrier. So resonance. Question 31. An alpha particle consists of two protons, two pluses, and two neutrons, two nothings. What's the charge of the alpha? It would be positive too, but uh, they want it in coulombs. Well, we can find an elementary charge. A single charge is, uh, let's see, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So two of those would be about 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19. Let's see if that's a choice. Yeah, of course it is. And there we go. Question 32. An electron in the sea level of a mercury atom. Before I go any further, energy level, and there's mercury. So we're in the sea level right here. That corresponds to 5.52 EV, so you'd have to add that much to rip it out of there. Uh, and it returns to the ground state. Which photon energy could not be emitted? Well, the C state is 5.52, the B state is 5.74, and the ground state, or the A state, is 10.38. So as the electron goes from here to here, it could release a, a bit of energy. As it goes from here to here, it could release some energy. Uh, which photon could not be emitted by the atom? Well, let's look at the choices. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Here's my C state, <coughs> my B state, and my A state. From A to B, so I'm doing 10.38 minus 5.74, I've got 4.64. So if I went from B to A, I could release that much energy. And that's right there. From uh, 5.74 to 5.52, that looks like 0.22, if I subtract. And there's that one. And if I add them, I've got uh, 4.86. 4.86, well, that's that one. And so the only one I couldn't release, the only one that isn't a even whole multiple of one of these energy level jumps is level four, or question, answer four, 5.43 EVs. All right, question 33. Now this one's a tough one. Which phenomena provides evidence that light has a wave nature? Which one of these um, proves that light has a wave nature? Well, uh, let's see. Emission of light from an energy transmission in a hydrogen atom. So light's given off when an electron falls in hydrogen. Um, that doesn't really prove energy. As a matter of fact, our wave energy, it proves uh, kind of the opposite, that it's a little pulse or a, a photon of light. So not that one. Diffraction of light passing through a narrow opening. Let's look at that for a second. Well, here's light from a laser. I can get a little narrow opening between the slits of this... Uh, Burner caliper thing. Right there. And I don't know if you can see the little diffraction pattern. Let me turn the lights off a little more and see what you can get. Hmm. 
it's spreading out of the light waves so it uh, moving to the little slit like that. That's a diffraction pattern. And that's a unique wave characteristic. Diffraction is really unique to waves. Now, um, in quantum mechanics, we find this thing about electron diffraction, but that only proves that electrons can have wave characteristics. So, which phenomena provides evidence that light has wave nature? I'm going with diffraction. Absorption of light by a black sheet of paper? Well, water will be absorbed by a black sheet of paper, so that doesn't really prove waves. And reflection of light, reflection of light from a mirror? Well, I can reflect the ball off of a mirror just as well as light. So that doesn't prove waves, though it is a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going with uh, answer two. Question 34. When the Earth and the Moon are separated by a distance of 3.84 times 10 to the 8 meters, the magnitude of the gravitational force of attraction between them is 2 times 10 to the 20. All right. What would be the magnitude of this gravitational force of the attraction of the attraction if Earth and the Moon were separated by a distance of 1.92 times 10 to the 8 meters? Yikes! You're saying that the Moon is now uh, one half the distance? Ow! <laughs> Boy, they're just messing with your minds. Can you imagine being there, sitting there, taking the exam, and you read this question? Go, oh no, we're all going to die. Well, at any rate. Uh, we could work numbers if we wanted to, but we can also do this as a proportionality. We can see that 1.92 is half of 3.84. So we can say uh, the force of attraction is uh, g m1 m2 over distance squared. So now the distance is 1 half, and 1 half squared is going to be a fourth, so it's going to be whatever the force was divided by a fourth, so it's going to be four times as much force. So if the force was 2 times 10 to the 20, it's going to be uh, 8 times 10 to the 20. And sure enough, there's the answer right there. All right. But don't try this at home. This is not something you want to do. Get that much closer. And question 35, the particles in the nucleus are held together primarily by... Well, these are very um, uh, interesting. You almost got to memorize this. But the nucleus is mostly protons and neutrons. Electrostatic force would try to push them apart. Incredibly small masses, so gravity doesn't fit in. As a matter of fact, trying to fit gravity in with uh, the other forces is uh, what the unification theory is all about. This is a tough gig. Einstein trying to figure out gravity on his deathbed. How does that fit in with the other forces? Couldn't do it. Um, magnetic force? Uh, nah. It's the strong force. The strong force, and I guess you just have to memorize that. The strong force holds the nucleus together holds it strong.